Hey, welcome back. So let's finish up with uh, validation for the rest of this. So we need one for language ID. We need a language. We need a level and we need pricing, the currency and a description is also required at least just like a subtitle. So pretty much everything here is required. So we're going to go to our course model and in the edit validate, that's where we're going to do all of this. Now, the basic requirement for validation is just that the correct, the item should exist. So in this case, I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this category ID, and then let me select this and say level ID so that we know a level is required. Okay, we can use small letters here so that it's easier to change these things. I should have done that. Mm. Let me do small letter C here. Okay, so we have level, we have currency. Okay, and then we have, so we have level, we have currency, we have language. Uh, yes language okay and then we have um, so level currency language and what is this one price yes do we have anything for price here yet no so price ID as well the price is required great okay pretty basic stuff um, primary subject already there. So we need a description and a subtitle as well. Mm. Wait, how is subtitle? Subtitle is one word there. Okay, so we duplicate this two times again. Oops, what have I done? Control Shift D twice. And this one is, let's see. Price, wait, price is already here. So what's the other one? Uh, currency is there, price is there. Description and subtitle. So subtitle, let me remove the ID. So here I'll say A sub title is required and then we'll have description so description wait did i already do that no okay very nice this is all we needed really so if i now refresh the page and try to submit Okay, I can't submit now because I haven't changed anything. So let's try a language. Let's put English. Um, where is English? Where is English? You know, if you want to put a default, like English US right now, let's look at the, let's inspect the element and see uh, what we've selected so far. English is on, it should have the selected tag. Where is this? E Espanol. Some nodes are hidden. Okay, let's click on that just to unhide them. You know, this is a painful process. Let me do it from here instead. Languages, yes. Let's look for English, shall we? I can do, oh. I think I missed it right at the beginning. Uh, English US, that's uh, 21 as the default value. So to get that default value, I'm just going to go to course landing page uh, here and let's find language. Where is language? Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. So here where we say row uh, language ID. Hmm, wait, wait, wait. So if there's nothing here yet, right? We can just put two question marks there and then put 20, 
one right there. That way it um, puts 21 as the default if there's nothing. So if I do this, that didn't seem to work at all. Mm, let's see, cut ID, mm -hmm. row language. Yeah, but it does exist. So that's why this is not working. Hmm. Interesting. I can put the other if statement, but Hmm. Okay, what I can do is leave this one as it is right here, so I don't have to put a lot. I can do this away from here, but then again, if I put one, um, the default is zero, right? So if I say raw language ID, and then put a question mark and say not, like that, then I can put a... Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing here? Uh, Pro language ID. Okay, so this is an echo here, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is complicating things. Let me put a proper if statement. So what I can do is I can just put, let's put some PHP tags here. And we can just say this is equal to, and uh, if not that, then 21. Otherwise, uh, put it as the same item, like so. Then semicolon. Okay, so here if it's equal to zero, we are telling it that it's equal to, if it's equal to zero, uh, actually, this should be a single equal sign. Sorry about that. So this is equal to, we sh here we are just checking to see if it says zero. That's why I've put a not there. Zero. Uh, if it's equal to zero, set it to 21. Otherwise, set it to itself if it's not, not a zero. Okay, so I have messed up here somewhere. It says unexpected token. That's because here I didn't remove this. All right, well, let's try again. Okay, there we go. So at least we get English US if there was nothing saved, right? We get English US. That way, even when we save, it's going to save as English US. But that may not be a good idea because um, like in this case, if I try to edit, uh, maybe it's a good idea because I will need to edit the course eventually. So once I edit, it will save there. Let's select a level, maybe beginner level like that. Uh, currency, US dollar. And then uh, what else? So even with US dollar, you can do exactly the same thing. Put the US dollar as default. And then let's save. Okay, course saved successfully. So including that English. So if I click back, and uh, click back again, you see that uh, it maintains the US English right there. All right, then. So we are really done for this page. All right, now before we go, let me show you how to get uh, content for, to save content for a different uh, tab because we have this happening here on this tab but we have course messages as well here, which can be very easy to implement since we already have the framework here. So I'm just going to copy this description part and put course messages here. Now the course messages are just two of them. If I go to courses, uh, there's um, welcome message and congratulations message. So let's add those guys. So all we need to do now is let's, um, Wait a minute. Let's copy the entire content of course landing page. I'm going to copy everything from this one. And then in the same folder, course edit tabs, right click new file and paste this, right? And save this, this as uh, course dash messages. So messages. Of course, we re leave the dot view dot PHP. So save that. Great. Once we do that, uh, now let's go to the admin section here. Click, 
This is the admin controller. Now, over time, we're going to remove some of this code from the admin controller because it will become quite big at some point. But for now, we can write everything here. So here we go to the edit. We're still in the edit section, right? And then we just, when we post, when something was posted, because every time something is posted, when we read from Ajax. So it's a read operation we are looking for. So we are going in here, okay? And then if it's course landing page, the tab name we are on, then we include that. So all we have to do now is just duplicate this control shift D and then let's do else if like that, if the tab name is course messages instead. So I'm just going to change that to that. So course messages, same thing here, but course messages as the file. It's as simple as that. So once I do this, uh, if I refresh, now you see course messages has something just like course landing. Now they are exactly the same, but of course we should change this. So I'm going to go to course messages and change the title, course messages. Oops, what's happening? My mouse, course messages, like that, all right? And then of course I don't need any of this, course title, course title. I just need the description and I just need to uh, duplicate it twice. So I'll remove everything else from here because I don't really need it. Just make sure you remove the div and it's, and when you remove an opening div, you remove the closing as well. It's better to do it slowly so that you make sure you don't break anything. So opening div, that's the closing div and uh, student, blah, blah, blah. We don't need none of this out of my way. So that goes with that and we are good. So what we need to do is duplicate this guy, duplicate. And then instead of description, we say, um, wait, what are the names of these uh, tabs here? There's um, welcome message and congratulations message. So let's start with welcome message, welcome message, and then congratulations message. We'll copy what Udemy did uh, to explain this part, but for now, there is no need for that. So I'm changing this name here from description. Everything that has description in it, even this error, we're changing it to welcome underscore message. Uh, same here, we're going to select this description and change it to call congratulations underscore message. Okay, and we should be good to go. So back here, if I come back and refresh the page, this is what I have. So course messages. Now uh, it seems I need to add some Y values here. So I'm just going to say margin top four. Let me do that so I can have a bit of space at the top. In fact, let me just put margin Y so that both on top and on the bottom, there's a bit of space didn't seem to do much. Oh, I see why. Uh, this should be in here on this one. So let's try that again. Okay, much, much better. So I can copy that and put also in the course landing page. Let's do that. That way there's a bit more space here. Yeah, that's much better, course messages. Mm -hmm. So we have a welcome message and congratulations message. I don't like how this breaks in the middle, but eh, you can use word break and remove the breaking thingy. You can figure it out. But for now, this is what we have. So I can just say something like a welcome message and then here a congratulations message. So we're going to see the problems that we'll have when we try to save here. So I'm going to save and okay, that was unexpected completely. 
So let me inspect and look at the console. The console isn't complaining or anything like that, but everything is just gone. So that's weird. Let me type something here, save, nothing. Okay, so let's go to the admin section and see what's going on. It's because when we try to save, we don't have an option for this guy. So all I need to do is duplicate like this. Let me select from here and Control Shift D. Let me put else. So we didn't have anything for the save. So instead of landing page, it's messages. Okay. Now we're going to go into the validation and then course saved successfully. Uh, please fix errors. This is what we're going to have. So that solves the problem. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's beginning to look redundant here. So we're going to fix this. This is repeated code, code word for word. And so it, mean, it means it's redundant. So we're going to fix that, no problem. I'm going to refresh the page and then try to save and hit save. Please fix errors, even though there are no errors yet. Now that's because it's getting the errors from this section here. Your changes were not saved, continue, okay. So you see here, the errors are coming from this page, even though it's not loaded. So courses here, we will have to fix that. So the way to fix that is to tell it to check first if an item exists before trying to validate it. So we will do all that in the next video.